guys and welcome back to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to do a peplum for your basic top now we're going to need some notion to do this peplum so the first thing we're going to need is a body stop we're going to need a marker we're going to need some paper we're going to need a scissors and we're going to need a measuring tape and we're going to need a calculator so we're going to need a ruler as well so in this um basic peplum we're going to do we're going to trace over our bodice the both back and front from our original bodice so i trace over my original my um, basic bodice from my original bodice basic pattern and i trace over up to the waist now you're going to trace the dart and everything that is on your original basic bodice you're going to trace all the marking over like you see i did here from my two um from my two pattern my back and my front that i have here so you're gonna get two fresh sheet of paper and you're gonna trace over this pattern now i trace over my pattern both back and front now when you finish doing that you're gonna grab your measuring tape and you're gonna measure the waist of this stuff now we don't want to measure the dart because you remember the dart closing so we're gonna measure from one end of the dart to the side seam and we're gonna write that measurement down then you're going to measure the other dart from the other dart to the front and you're going to write that measurement down. You're going to grab your back and you're going to measure the same thing. We are not measuring the dart. We're measuring from one point to the next point. So now when you finish measuring that, you're going to get your ruler and we're going to draw a guideline. So we're going to draw a straight line down there, this paper. And what we're going to do, we're going to draw a next line on the opposite side of the paper. So get your ruler and draw in these lines. Draw the line right down to the edge of the paper. You may have to join this paper, but let's work with this paper for now. So this here going to be A. So from the top, for the line, we're going to write A. This is just the letters we will be dealing with. Right? Now, we're going to write A, and then what we're going to do, we're going to come down as we go. Now, we need the um, waist measurement. For this um thing we need to do some division for this so we're going to measure the waist at the top and add the two measurements together the back and the front waist together and when we don't add the back and the front waist together we're going to divide that by 1.57 and whatever the remaining measurement you left with we going to um put it on that line right we're going to put it we're going to put the measurement here. We're going to measure it out. Get your all and then get your measuring tape and where the marking drop. Remember, you divide it by 1.57 and then you place the marking on the paper. And now you're going to draw the curve. So this is where my one palm, my remaining measurement left. And I measure down and now I'm going to draw in the curve to make the waistline. So this would become my waistline here. So whatever remaining measurement you leave it after you divide, mark it um, on the paper down and now you make your curve. If you don't have the skill to do what I do, mark it like how I mark it in here from one end to the next. Now we're going to get your ruler and we're going to straighten this curve all the way. We're going to straighten this curve and make it nice and feel like a smiley face. Alright? So, just read note your smiley face. So, now from this end here, we're going to measure down the length of the peplum we need. So, my peplum is about 5 inches. So, I'm going to go right away around 5 inches, like you see me doing here. 5 inches. So, the peplum make from our waist measurement. 5 inches, 5 inches. Now, you're going to get your ruler and you're going to connect this um, marking. You can do it with a small rule or you can do it with a big rule that I am doing here. So I'm going to just mark in. I'm going to mark in. I'm going to fix that part. They will look like a smiley face as well. I'm going to get my big ruler and I'm going to fix it in properly. Alright. So I'm going to mark it back or bring it neat. Take out the smile. Alright. So this is what our peplum would look like. Now what you do, you go ahead and you're going to add some seam allowance on this peplum. Now this would be the center front because this will be cutting 
one on a fold. All right, so when we open it, we got a whole peplum. And this will be the center back where I add the seam allowance plus the waist, the, the zip allowance, so that when I stitch in it, I have seam allowance plus zip. Now go ahead and add some seam allowance to the bottom of your um, peplum. You can add how much ever seam allowance you wish to add. So now I'm adding like three centimeter on my seam allowance, which is one inch or one and a quarter inch. And we're gonna mark the seam allowance as well on the waist as well too. So a peplum is very easy to make. So this is the basic for the um, peplum and this is the center back. So we're gonna cut this out now, all right? And then we're going to get a next piece of paper and we're going to paste this together and we're going to make a big long peplum. So go ahead, fold your peplum, fold in that piece and we're going to cut this out. So go ahead and cut out your peplum like I am doing here. Make sure you cut it out properly. Now if this is your first time at my channel, thanks for coming and please subscribe. And share my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any video from me now I have um, a new um, video I have a new um, channel coming out which I would make um, I will tell you about a little later so after you finish cutting out your peplum here this is what your peplum look like. So this will be the back and then, and then we have the center front. So now what we're going to do, we're going to grab an extra piece of paper and we're going to trace the top. Let me show you how this peplum will look. We're going to trace our basic top. So trace the front. I you know, will just trace in the front just to show you what the peplum will look like when it sits down on the top. So go ahead and trace on your top. Trace in the dark and everything up to the waist like I am doing here. And as I said, I have something coming out, which you guys would glad, which I will tell you a little about a little more later. I'm trying to work on it, and you guys will be happy with that, with what I am trying to do. So stay tuned, and I will tell you a little more about what I have planned for this year, God's will. Okay? So now, since you don't draft your draft out your top, we're going to trace this stuff. We're going to trace over this stuff and I will use a light and I will trace this stuff over onto the other side of the paper so I can get all the markings that I need. Alright, so now I'm going to put some seam allowance on this top before I trace, um, trace it to the other side of the paper. So go ahead and put your seam allowance. So don't forget, share the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you guys. For always supporting my channel I'm really appreciated and I'm very much happy that you're still here with me in 2022 thank God for life so now after you finish tracing it up we're gonna trace over this stuff to the other side so I have my um, little light here and I'm gonna trace this stuff over I'm gonna trace in all the marking because this stuff will be cutting one piece open when you see I finish because I put it on a fold so we're gonna cut this stuff right the whole top we don't have to put this on a fold when we finish because when we don't um cut this top out you will see what it will look like when we finish tra um, tracing over and open it out we will get the whole front of the top here so go ahead and trace over trace here on the top trace the dart and trace everything so now I'm gonna move my light and I'm going to cut out this top so you will see what this top look like. So this is the whole front of the top I have here. So go ahead and cut it out. And make sure you cut outside the line, not inside the line. Alright, so let's keep cutting. And now when you finish, we're going to open up the top. And you're going to see what the top look like. So this is what the top look like and this is what the peplum look like. Now what we need to do is put this peplum and make it on a fold so we can get the whole peplum for see the top because remember the top cut on a fold and the top is the whole front of the top we have here. So I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I'm going to paste, I'm going to 
for this peplum, the um, center front, which is the fold towards on the other piece of paper that I have here. When I done, I'm going to piece them together so we get one whole peplum that cut on a fold that would go right away around the top. It would go to the front and the back of the top. So we just have to cut one piece on a fold not two pieces right so this cutting on a fold so go ahead and draw from your peplum like this draw it wrong and when you're done this is what your peplum look like i'm gonna copy it to this one like this like i'm doing here and you have a whole peplum so when you're cutting this out on the fabric you just cut one piece on a fold you don't have to cut um two pieces is one piece on a fold and when you open it out you get one long peplum going to the back and the front so this is what my peplum look like here so you're gonna open it out so you're gonna open this out so the one piece that we, before we join this one piece here, if we only cutting one piece of the paper, we're going to put it on a fold on the fabric. But since we're going to join the peplum together, we have to cut one piece, right? Instead of on a fold, we're going to open out our fabric and we're going to cut one piece. Because remember, we're going to join this peplum now to make one full piece. So we won't have to cut it on a fold. We just have to cut it on a single fabric. If we didn't join in this peplum together for make a whole peplum, well, then only one piece we would have to use to cut it on a fold. But I want to show you, I'm going to put it on the mannequin, what I'm talking about. So sit back, relax, and just watch me what I'm doing. So I'm going to paste the other piece that I cut out. Okay. So this original piece. So I don't have to cut this on a fold again. I just cut one single piece out and I get my whole peplum for both the back and the front. So I'm going to paste this down as you see me doing here. And this is our peplum guys. And look the front and the top what I'm doing here. So this will become the front uh, peplum will go right here and that with the back peplum. That will go to the back. So the front would land here, and then the back would land here. The back of the top would land here. So you see, you get one full peplum here. So just one pep, one piece you have to cut, and the top, the front top, one piece you have to cut as well. Okay. If you're doing a line top, then you cut two pieces. If you're doing a line peplum, then you cut two pieces. All right. So this is what our peplum look like. This is the both the front and the back peplum. So when you cut a your peplum. You need to cut one piece of that. All right. So now I'm going to show you what the peplum look like when I place it on to my mannequin. So this is our full uh, peplum that we have here. So this was an easy way to make um, the peplum pattern. But there are many ways in making um, the peplum. People do it in all different ways, but this is just my easy, quick, and simple way. Y'all know I like everything easy, quick, and simple. So I'm looking for the easiest way that suit me and that work for me to show y'all. If um, y'all see other way of making it, y'all go ahead and make it the other way. But this is just my way of making my peplum and what suit me best and what fit me well. So I'm just sharing this with y'all for y'all to see what it really look like and to show y'all what work for me. Right, so this is my um, peplum and my method of drafting a simple, easy, and quick peplum. Now, what we're gonna do here now with this peplum, we're gonna um, put it onto the mannequin for you guys to see what it look like. So I'm gonna move my top. So this is the basic top I have here with this um, seam allowance alley. Right, you will have to do the back that just as the front. If you're cutting two pieces of the back, you have to put your back and add a seam allowance to the back of um, the pattern. So I hope I was able to make this quick, 
easy and simple for you. So do the back, just the back of the top, just like how I do the front, or you can cut the back into two pieces. Right? I the front will always cut on a fold unless you put in a zipper in front or a button um, extension in front. Then you go ahead and you cut two pieces of the front with your button extension. But since I'm doing a full front, I need my um, front to cut on a fold, but I don't have to cut one piece of my front I have to cut now because as you can see I put the front already on a fold I put the pet plump on a fold so when I place it on to my fabric it's just one full piece so I'll use my mannequin to show you what I'm talking about so you see the front here and then the pet plump go all the way to the back of the pattern just like this so you don't have to cut this on a fold anymore you just cut out one big piece and you have your full pep lump right here. Now remember this is a paper, so it will be very stiff to go around here. But if it's the cloth, it will be in good shape. So as you see, I get a full pep lump for both the back and the front right here. So you're cutting out one piece of this pep lump, right? To make um to attach it, attach it on to your top. So this is what the pep lump will look like. I'm just trying to put it up for you so you guys can see what it look like onto the top so you see this is a full peplum that i make here for you so look at what the peplum gonna look like very neat nice and very simple so i hope i was able to make this very easy quick and simple for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this um simple class simple peplum um, tutorial that i do here for you and I hope you guys enjoy it. Right? So this is what the peplum will look like. Now very simple, easy and quick. Now you take this pattern and you add it on to your top. So this is what you will have when you finish. So you it in the full scale in your um size. I just do it in my small scale so that you guys can see properly. But all the measurement I giving you is for full scale pattern. So enjoy and thank you for coming back to my channel and as i said my name is tamara of tamara fashion style subscribe to my channel share my channel hit the notification bell and so that you won't miss any video from me so guys i will see you in my next video and thank you for watching have a good night a good day or a good night a good morning or whatever and i will see you soon bye bye Enjoy.